South Korea today for the first time reported more than 100,000 new cases of COVID-19. Still with severe cases relatively low, the authorities have decided to change the rules so that restaurants can stay open until 10 instead of 9. But that won't take effect until Saturday. Shin Yeon reports. The number of new infections that South Korea added on Friday hit 109,831. This is an increase of more than 55,000 from a week ago. Just three weeks after daily infections hit the 10,000 range for the first time, numbers have gone up tenfold. The number of critically ill patients has been hovering in the 300 range for four consecutive days. But there's expected to be up to 2,500 critical cases by early next month. Meanwhile, the prime minister announced in a briefing on Friday how the country will roll out social distancing measures from this weekend. Unlike what authorities had reportedly been planning, social gathering caps will stay at a maximum of six people. The only change is that business operating hours will be extended from the 9 p.m. curfew to 10 p.m. We've decided to maintain the current framework of social distancing, but slightly adjust some measures in consideration of people's livelihood and our medical capacity. The new measure will last for three weeks starting tomorrow. In regards to vaccine passes, the prime minister said they'll be used at most facilities for now, but could be reviewed. Also from Saturday, QR codes will only be used to check vaccine passes instead of being used as entry logs. The government has decided to no longer track where people visit. Prime Minister Kim Bugam also said the government's decision to extend vaccine passes to the 12 to 18 age group from March will be postponed until April 1st. The prime minister added that authorities would ease social distancing measures further once the surge is contained. According to experts, we may see Omicron peak by the end of February or mid-March. After that, we'll see Omicron cases go down and then be able to ease social distancing measures like other countries have so that people can return to normal life. For this to happen, he asked more people to get their booster shots. He noted that unlike other countries, South Korea hasn't seen a drastic increase in deaths and critically ill patients amid Omicron. That's because Korea has administered the third vaccine shot to more than half of its population. From next Monday, those over 18 who haven't been fully vaccinated can reserve their Novavax shots, which will then be first administered from March 7th. These vaccines will also be used as boosters and mix and match shots. From Monday, authorities will also expand the age group that can take Paxlovid to those aged 40 and up who have underlying conditions. Shin Yeun, Arirang News.